<laughs> oh fuck Hi guys Manav here and I welcome you all to Kridas in this video we are going to showcase the one day hike to the lesser known mountain called as Khanpari Tibba we were a group of 3 individuals who started from Dungri village of Manali at 3:30 am Oh. Oh. Dancing queen. It was such a nice decision to start the trek at night because right now the snow is really really hard so there's no need to wear gaiters and you can walk swiftly saving energy and time both. So guys that is the permanent hut of Lama Dug and that is where we need to go. Just imagine you're on this slope and and you're slipping. You don't have a grip. What you have to do is you have to hit your feet like this and create these small knife-like impressions from your feet. This is called edging, and you can easily traverse any slope, even with a good gradient, without using any ice axe or those micro spikes or crampons. if the condition of the snow is hard enough obviously it won't work on ice but if it is snow you are trekking early morning then trust me this is this is the best technique to just traverse all these slopes without going down and then again hiking up it will save <coughs> loads and loads of energy <laughs> edging edging come on nice try 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 chal come on nice 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 ha 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 left se bahut edging sahi ho raha right se bilkul nahi ho raha right se nahi kuch nahi hoga kahin nahi jaoge chalo teda karo pao ha bhai mujhe to pod raha Now guys again when you're climbing up and you see that the snow is a mix of hard and soft open your feet just like this and climb up put them sideways and then putting them flat on the slope Nice. Stand up. Stand up. Yes. So guys, it's all sunny from up here, and snow will be soft. So we are putting up our gaiters. So guys, since the sun is out there, so we thought that we should just. go through this region where there is free shadow so that our feet won't sink much into the snow again we can save some energy cover more distance in less time and what a magnificent view of this whole range you can see from here Come on come on come on So guys you have been climbing climbing and climbing the slopes here are really really crazy so if you have an ice axe and if you trust your feet you you can definitely do it So the ridge is not is like ever ending 
we are just getting hump over hump one after the other here yes, it is just becoming ah steeper and steeper Whew. so guys when we were climbing up we had the situation like there was a sudden drop if you face any such issue just traverse a little bit to your right or left whichever position is good and then you can go up from that side but be like super careful because these landscapes are very scary chalo chalo So guys this little cornice you see here right that is Khanpuri Tibba after crossing ridge over ridge over ridge finally we are here at least we can see it so you have the strength you know to just go as close as possible and just find it up as fast as we can oh what an amazing feeling it is clear yeah. I think we can. Where? That last one. Oh no. और दो बजे turn back time रखेंगे. जितना पहुँचे उतना पहुँचे. Here is Kalihani Pass, Manali Pass, and in that area, we'll have Hanuman Tibba, the Seven Sisters, Friendship Peak, back there Brigo. And if everything goes well, I think in 30 minutes we will be able to reach. can but it is bah the sun is covered with clouds so we have a little bit of relief the moment the sun comes into picture it is so 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 strong that it just kills us and he's another great mountaineer he doesn't need those ice axes and crampons and anything to wear Woo. so guys this is called cornes and this is extremely dangerous it triggers avalanche in the valley So what you are supposed to do is whenever you see it and you are supposed to cross that ridge don't walk over this surface because due to your weight and gravity it will just slide down and it will create an avalanche it will trigger an avalanche actually and how is it formed is that wind from the other side so from the windward side when the wind blows it just swipes up the snow and keeps accumulating it in this sort of an overhang and these small small cornices you will find on specifically on ridges you can find them you can see them very small cornices on this ridge also and they'll be everywhere and you have to be very careful when you cross these like these are really really dangerous and you have to and you should avoid it at all times so suppose now we have to go to khanpuri tibba so this is not the area from where we just climb up rather this is the most safest zone from where we will we'll just go up I can't see like how it was hard it was it was almost impossible but all thanks to the key is just keep going yep uh, if everything is in your favor then only the otherwise definitely turn back go back like the mountain is anyhow going to be here you can come back another time give it a better shot when you when you have like higher probability of doing it ooh constellation bade Come on, come on, come on, come on! It's your summit to come on, come on, dog! Yay! Yay! One more step and one giant leap for mankind! <laughs> Yay! So track mate number two, Mr. Sumit. Thanks a lot, bro. Come on, Sario. So guys, this is how the top of Khanpuri Tibba looks like. It's like a small plateau top. The ridge continues here, and this is where you'll find all the very difficult treks, Kalihani Pass, and everything. And he's enjoying his summit. <laughs> and he is the fittest of all. Yes, successfully. 
Yay! Thank you. Yay! Chal, we'll have paratha. We have one paratha for you. So guys, it took us uh, 10 hours <laughs> to do, I guess, 9 to 9.5 kilometers. But I guess the gradient was really, really nice. And, and I guess this is the longest ridge walk that I have done in snow. And it was an amazing experience. And this is just 50%. Like, we have to go back descending. We don't know how is it going to be. Yay! Finally, some land to land on. To keep my ass on. Bro, it's a bum. And we also thought that we'll give an attempt to Rani Sui Lake. It is in that direction, but it is still far away. In this particular trek, I felt that a ridge ascent is really, really beautiful and it demands a good amount of effort from you. So guys, we are starting back at 1.45 p.m. Oi! <laughs> Come on, boys! Oh fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. So I guess then heal first run. and run. <sighs> ah. Ah So guys, this particular slope when it comes to descent is the most like riskiest of all. You can't even just immediately see down this such a, you know, almost a straight slope. So guys, looking at the gradient of this slope, I thought that I should climb down. Not only the climb, but the descent is also, you know, crazy enough and you have to be very, very careful. So uh, there was no chance of glissading here because the moment you were trying to glissade, the slope will take you there and then you'll, 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 you'll just go down there and coming up from that place to this place <laughs> would take another half an hour.
Ah. Oh man. Bro, 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 bro. Uh, careful. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bro, you want me to go ahead? Agu. Chalo, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Guys, these ridges are crazy. Be extremely, extremely careful. I'm not kidding. Are? Do you want to go ahead or you don't want to go ahead? Come on. Yeah, so guys, we reached Lamadug after a descent of two and a half hours. And I guess there's another descent of around one, one and a half hours to Manali. Oh, woo! I could see the whole valley down there. And I guess from here onwards, there are just few patches of snow. So I just removed my gaiters. And this happens after every single trek. So the first thing in the morning tomorrow is that I have to wash them and then wait for them to dry out. And I guess my shoes are also wet because of the distance that we covered in one day. Finally, we have reached the point from where we started. And oh, what a trick it was. So guys, if you're liking what you're watching, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll be coming up with more content from the outdoors in the next one.